when I really first started, I was a little naive, to be honest. I thought, well, why don't we just ask Mary, what do you like to do? Or what did you used to like to do? Oh, you like sewing? Here's a quilting bee that you might be able to just avail yourself of. Or you like golf? Um, here's some golf leagues. And what we know is that if they could have done that or they had the wherewithal to do that, they would have done it. And so some people who have chronic loneliness, you really have to treat that and get people ready for connection. There are some cognitive behavioral kind of things that people can do to help with um, getting some change going, getting some activation happening, working on what anxiety might be going on that might keep somebody from reaching out, uh, and also working on some interpersonal skills that maybe um, they're not able to ask for what they want when they want it, and um, you know, and just changing that thinking because I think that what happens over time is that people who have loneliness start shifting their their thoughts about the world and about their community and themselves, thinking things are a little more threatening than they are. And um, it holds them back. 